It's deja vu for thousands of Detroit residents as the city sets to shut off water service. You may remember around this time last year, RT went to Detroit to cover what the United Nations called a potential humanitarian crisis. As the city threatened to shut down water service to tens of thousands of people for non-payment of their bills. And now the Detroit Water and Sewer Department is threatening about 25,000 people with the same type of shutoffs yet again. They're starting to place door hangers on houses this week. Now, following last year's drama that drew national attention, since then, the city of Detroit has implemented a program called the Detroit Water Fund, where the city will increase its help to low-income residents. The DWSD is shutting off service to residents who are $150 behind in payment or 60 days past due. The weird loophole here is that the Detroit Water Fund will help those who owe a minimum of $300, all the way up to $2,000, that is. They'll help cover 50% of the backed bills and up to 25% of future bills for up to one year. The only steps needed are that residents enroll in the repayment program from the city. Still, local residents of Detroit say that this type of constant threat has a lingering effect on the community. I talked to Jeffrey Jackson, a local journalist there in Detroit. Take a listen to what he had to say. From what I can see, it's wearing on them. I mean, there is protests uh, almost, almost weekly. Uh, even during the cold weather, and the the Wall Street's hatchet man Kevin Orr came in and made the decision to cut off essentially 40 percent of the city's water. So, what happened was in 2008, really briefly, uh, the the city went into a basically a, a death spiral of debt, and what what was a soft decline turned into a free fall from the 2008 financial crisis. Uh, and the independent firms. Uh, analyzed the, the positions of the Detroit sewer and water uh, systems, and it had deteriorated by $1.5 billion. And these were from bad credit default swaps. So what happens is these, these residents don't owe a lot of this money. Um, they're being, they're being uh, forced uh, and, and not understanding the consent to sign away, to sign their rights away when it comes to the water rights and being forced into payment plans that they can't afford. As you heard there from Jeffrey Jackson, even with the help being offered, many residents still cannot afford those water bills. He said incidence rates of E. coli and other types of hygiene-related diseases have become a common issue in and around the city. As the summer months are creeping in, locals see a sort of bitter irony in the fact that the city of Detroit is surrounded by much of America's fresh water sources, but essentially have no access to any of it themselves. In Washington, Manila Chan, RT. All right, Shalom. This is GMS Wisconsin. Here to prophesy about the downfall of America and the rest of the surrounding nations and continents and countries. Now, what you see here is what you call biblical prophecies. Jake them going through all types of hell as far as getting water cut off. Or if they can't make payments on their water bills, their water is um, uh, infested or infected with uh, pe uh, pestilence. pestilence. Like the woman said, she catching rashes, people getting uh, liver, uh, uh, um, having liver problems, having all types of bowel problems, right? But that's what you call biblical prophecy, right? I'm going to start with this scripture right here. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 30, verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. Right, and what they're doing is they're taking counsel with the government. They're depending on these white men to save them. But as you can see, the white woman saying that they got all types of good water in they uh uh and they uh little suburbs, they water clean. They depending on this white man and his system, but the white man not even here to help them. That's why they the only ones who uh losing money. I mean uh the only ones who getting all them types of cuts and them, uh events happening to them. But the white woman, they living good. It says. Uh, but not of my spirit that may, that they may add sin to sin, right? Because they're supposed to be going to Yahweh and Yahweh Shai for guidance on how they're supposed to survive through what's going on. Because we're coming to the end of America. That walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, right? They protested. They vote. They strengthen themselves in this society. And to trust in the shadow of of Egypt, right, and they trusted in the shadow of Egypt, 
Therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame because it's only going to get worse. They're going to actually cut off all that water, even if you're paying your bills or not. And then you're going to, then how are you going to survive? Right? They're going to be start, they're going to be uh, uh, thirsty, dehydrated. Right? And you die from thirst quicker than you die from food. It says, Therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. Because they think the white man here to help them, and the white man been lying to them since the beginning. All right, this is the next scripture. All right, this uh Second Ezra chapter sixteen verse thirty eight, as when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son, within two or three hours of her birth, great pains can pass her, can pass her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth. They slack not a moment, and that's what's going on. This has been happening as far as these water bills getting cut off and people not having water. They might even they even might have to even migrate to uh, other cities, other towns, just to find jobs so they can uh, make payments on any type of water bill that they might might have, right? But it says uh, they slack not a moment, right? And this gonna continue happening, continue happening. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth. And this is the plague, according to the scriptures. And the world shall mourn. And these people are in mourn. That's why they keep protesting. And they're not getting no justice <laughs> and no peace. You know I mean? And sorrows shall come upon it on every side. So not only is this happening in America, this is happening all over the world. O oh, my people, hear my word. Make ye ready to the battle. Right, they're supposed to be getting ready for this to... uh. For this America to be destroyed and for it to get worse, but instead they out there protesting. And then those evils, because these are evil times, evil meaning bad times, and those guaranteed them people are suffering. They probably been robbing, robbing stores and robbing each other for water. Evils, it says, uh, and then those evils be even as pilgrims upon earth. Now this is for us brothers that's in the truth. We are supposed to be ready to get up and go when stuff like this happen, happens. As it get worse and worse, Yahweh Shai gonna give us the word to either migrate or migrate and don't hold hold fast to nothing in the society. If we got stores, we don't hold fast to none of that. If we got wives, don't hold fast to none of that. Especially if they're not trying to be down with the truth and follow uh, Yahweh Yahweh Shai, we're supposed to be ready to get up out of here. It says, He that selleth, let him be as he that fleeth away, and he that buyeth as one that will lose. He that occupieth merchandise, as he that hath no profits by it, and he that buildeth, as he that shall not dwell therein. Right, so don't hold fast to no houses, no stores that you own, right, no houses that you build. Don't put your spirit into that stuff because these are the last evil days and all is going to be destroyed anyway, man. And that's the problem with these people, man. They're, that's why how is she having this happen to them because they don't actually understand. Right? Well, well, it says, uh, He that soweth as if he as if he should not reap, so also he that planteth the vineyard as he that shall not gather the grapes. They that marry as they that shall get no children, and they that marry not as the widowers. Right? So you're supposed to be trusting in Yahweh and Yahweh Shad, man. You're not supposed to be sitting here trying to make a family in America, trying to uh, gain some type of wealth and establish yourself and live the American dream because you're how is bringing this society down. It says, and therefore they that labor, labor in vain. See? For strangers shall reap their fruits and spoil their goods, overthrow their houses and take their children captives. Right? So... Basically, it's only going to get worse. You thought the water was the problem. Pretty soon, you're going to have people robbing you, taking your kids captives for ransom, for money, because they're going to be suffering. And at the whole world is going to be suffering, and it's suffering right now. For in captivity and famine shall they get children. And they that occupy their merchandise with robbery, see, it's going to be all types of uh, hell, chaos, and destruction breaking off. See, you thought this water was the problem right now, but it's going to get worse, man. The more they deck their cities, right? See? Their houses, because they want to live this American dream. That's why they're protesting. 
their possessions and their own persons. The more will I be angry with them for their sin, said the Lord. Right, because they're supposed to be actually coming back to the Lord. Uh, uh, the men supposed to be putting up these videos. The women supposed to be uh, at the house learning the scriptures and be be ready to leave when that time comes. As it get worse, when the destruction kick off, the robbery, the rape, the uh, uh, um, captivities, capturing children, holding for ransom, they supposed to be ready to uh, for the, they supposed to be getting ready for this type of stuff and getting ready for the Lord. But instead, they out there protesting. That's why they ain't got no water. That's why they catching all types of infirmities behind what's in the water. And and obviously the white man not helping them because they've been doing this for years on years on top of years. But uh, that uh, concludes the matter of this lesson. Uh, all praise to Yahweh Shemal Shai, double honors to the elders, and shalom to the rest of the brothers out there doing the truth and sincerity. And like Elder Ramla said, all hands on deck. Shalom.